Well, hi everyone, and <laughs> welcome back. Um, this is season one of Pigeon Server, and I'm gonna do a little tour of it. Um, I'm gonna be doing the tours of stuff that I built, stuff that Ox and Otter built, stuff that Basque built, and well, Minrad didn't really say whether or not he cared. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do min raids too. Um, and, but all the players that have gone inactive since, I'm not going to like talk about their base. They might show up on the on screen. But if you see something I didn't talk about, that's probably why it's an inactive player. And I just don't want to do that without like permission. And I'm not going to go and bug every single uh, of the 50 players or whatever that came in and out of Season 1. Um, so, yeah. Let's get on with it. I'm going to try to make this as fast as I can, but I also want to make sure I say things. <laughs> but this is the spawn house. We were collecting a little bit of the heads. We didn't get them all here, but we did get them all somewhere else. Um, it used to be like a white and gray modern build, and then uh, Ox and Otter or somebody came and rainbow fat it. So that's... What's up there? This is a trash can, and your items will automatically be destroyed. Let's put some items in there. Tick, 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 gone. Get you cookie. I think we're out of cookies. Let's do. Let's not sell ourselves short here. Um, yeah, I, I'm in creative mode, by the way. I'm not going to do this in survival. I don't see any reason to. And this is Hotland with her. And all his heads are looking at something. This is Kid Insanity's enchantment shop. I'm going to show off the shopping district, whoever built what. I mean, it's just part of it's public. This is Labor Works, where you could come here and say, hey, I'm a builder. You can pay me to come build things for you. Nobody ever did. <laughs> it's okay. Another hogland weather. Why not? Um, but sometimes people want something grindy done, and you'd be like, "Yeah, I'll come help with that," and they give you some diamonds or something. It's a cool idea. Minred's diamond tree made out of diamond blocks because he's rich. Um, Minred has shown us all that if you sell things for one diamond, people will buy it. So this is Squish's art um, shop. She did map art. And we've got some awesome chonk and repose and sleeping cat and grumpy cat. And she would also do custom orders. Um, yeah. I would ask her to do sunflowers a lot because I like sunflowers. This is Otter's Bee. I don't even know if this is really a shop. No, it's not. It's free. Otter's the bee lady, she provided the server with bees, and I still don't know how to do bees because of that. Which I'm not complaining about, I don't want to learn how to do bees. <laughs> it's uh, Ox and or Otter's food shop. And wool shop. <laughs> Flower shop. With trousers. This is the electric bank robbery system. Minrad provides the server with wood since he's been on the server. <laughs> but at a dime in a stack, I mean, it's like, I'd come in here and bow him out. And I still do, to this day. Minrad Shoker Shop. He sells shokers for one diamond. These are all, um, he went to the end and manually grand, grinded all these shokers. He didn't build a farm for it. Of course, there weren't farms available at the time anyway. Mamaw's Quilt, that's where I was selling dyes. Vervain's um, Guardian Shop, which I think was the first damn shop on the server. Um, this is where I would come to buy sea lanterns. I don't know what that is, it's a rock shop. Um, this is somebody's house that never got finished. Get, get, get.
I don't know what this is or why it's here. Because there's nothing inside it. Except some turtles. <laughs> but it's there. Um, there's still torches at spawn. Never got rid of all the torches. Always wanted to. That's okay. So let's go up here. We got the brownstone houses that I made. Or buildings that I made. This is the rent -a shop You could come and rent a pick. Wings. Fortune pick, I mean to say. Sponges and conduit for like, I believe, a diamond a week or something. And, um... You know what I want is this off my offhand. There we go. And that is cigarette. Um, I didn't make any money off that. Like, maybe like two diamonds or something. thought it was a great idea. It didn't really work out. It's just random shit shop. And there's Phil Spector. I got me a pig because the pig tip CD came out um, halfway through the season. And I was very interested in it at the time. And also, apartment 84. I have an apartment here at Spawn. My very own personal apartment. Yeah, that's cute. I forgot about this. <laughs> It's a studio. And, um, torches up here because I've never lit it up. Jesus Christ, so lazy. But I would have uh, mats and stuff at spawn, so I wouldn't have to go all the way back to my base. Which I've decided to be 4,000 blocks out. Oh, it's the window. There's a fire escape. Hold up. Get, 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 get. Yeah, even made a fire escape. Oh, God. Is there a ladder? Why would I not put a ladder there? Weird. Okay. Well, I guess I never used it. <laughs> yeah, there's the fire escape. Um... Horsey stables. I was, um, I got really lucky and found a 14 speed horse, so I was able to breed 14 speed um, horses that way if I got lucky enough. And so I built stables at spawn, I built a horsey ranch, and I built a road that goes all the way to the horsey ranch, which is about 4,000 blocks away, I think. Four or 5,000. Swing. And laser. Laser is my 14 speed horse. Um, yeah, we got. This is Basque Modern Tower Shop that I've always liked. Um, he's selling so much stuff, he's actually got it listed in a table of contents here, and uh, based on what floor it is, which is cool. And he's selling, you know, pretty much every damn thing. Project Nether, we was trying to get ready for 116. Because we since we didn't have to reset the map, we reset the nether only. And um Bedrock break it. Huh. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I don't remember. Um there's Oh yeah, that's right. I grinded a bunch of wool so we could make little carpet trails on top of the roof. But we also ended up making another hub, which I'll show eventually. This player's gone. They dig the stuff, and we buy the stuff. This is Tamander's wool shop. Open the door. God's sake. Uh, Tamander's has a wood shop. Not that... <laughs> One diamond per stack. Yeah, it's the same as Minrad, so I guess if Minrad runs out, we'll come over here. Basque has another shop. Let's look at the outside of it. 
It's like a gazebo, floating gazebo in the air, or a mushroom. I call it a mushroom. But, you know, everybody wanted that netherwood in 116. Um, too high flower place that Tamander's built, so you can go in Tamander's face. Very human. <laughs> like for a blocky face, that looks extremely detailed. <laughs> but yeah, you can come here and bone mill the two half layers to get your dies or whatever. Um, let's go. I'm trying to stay like on a route here. Oh, this is the potion shop. See, it's a potion. Come here and get your booze. It's a very nice little modern shop. I love these lamps. Somebody made this cool little bridge over the creek, tiny creek. It's so little and cute. I love it. Um, Elm Jay's uh, villager stuff. I don't know. He was selling books and whatnot. And apparently redstone. Elm Jay was a hustler back in the day, let me tell you. Um, this a game. You going to toss blocks into these little composters and I think you can reset the board oh wow that's redstone and I think the blocks are in here and what I remember is that if you look up you can get it to go good do good yeah I did good um, Okay, well, we both won. And then we do that. Oh, cool. It puts the pieces back in the box. This is awesome. I don't know exactly how the game works. Or, like, I assume you get more points if you get in the middle or some shit. Or, or if it's a tic-tac-toe. It's probably a tic-tac-toe. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Um, good. spectator mode and actually I'm not going to do that this player doesn't even play anymore and I said I wasn't going to show off his stuff whatever um, this is a shop with uh, overpriced prismarine shorts looks nice <laughs> it's very uh, modern um, Terra Oh, this way. This is the way I was going. Um, so down here, there's Kid Insanity's enchanting advertisement that he spammed all over the place. Rainbow the Cat with his rainbowness. This is the slime shop. We had an old Etho door. Um, it's been abandoned. And I think sold and bought and sold and bought several times. There's not. There were never frogs here. That's because I'm in 1.20, 1.1, or whatever the recent update is. What are you? I got a little, little bath. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's there. Um, this guy made a vending machine, like one of those big, crazy redstone vending machines where you can pause and read all that if you want. You use this somehow to select what you want, and then you put payment in here, and you can go look at the redstone and take a nap. <laughs> that is pretty much spawn. That stuff down there is like residential stuff and a couple of other builds. It's an anchor, a lighthouse. Uh, I believe Tamander's built that stuff. Um, let's go over here. So, and this is part of the spawn chunks. Cody Cyan 
came in like the first month of the server and built this iron farm and this creeper farm and this sugarcane farm and uh, I don't think I think I came along and decorated stuff to some extent eventually I don't remember um, I know this is something I put at the end of the server or the end of the season it's an AFK spot for princesses but if you want to come here in AFK for the creepers uh, the gunpowder or whatever you can do that um, anyway Cody came and built this left um, didn't come back to like the end of season two and we used these farms the whole season because they ran um, you know because they're in spawn chunks they just constantly well the iron farm and the actually I don't think this runs the sugar cane unless you're there but the iron farm does and of course the creeper farm doesn't but if you came here in AFK in the old princess tower did I go up top let's go up top Oh, for crying out loud. There's also a way down there to the collection area of that farm. Yeah, see, made a little <laughs> lumpy carpet. <laughs> My building style hasn't changed too much, has it? <laughs> I'm saying this is... Um, by the way, uh, server started in February 2020, I believe. And... Uh, you know, there's a lot of, you know, it continued on into March 2020 and everybody got hit with the pandemic and stuff. And I was unemployed for six months, so I had lots of time to build. We're not going to talk about that base, but it's there. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's check out the Nether Hub. Okay, am I trapped here? Yeah, pretty much. Um, cause you see, you can't. <laughs> There's probably a way to change this, but you can't really go through portals in creative mode without going to the through the portal. If that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna. Ooh, that was a sound that happened. I'm gonna break one of these so I can move around. Um, that's an elevator that goes to the top. That's a Timothy shoe. This is the drowning anchor. It's a bar. It's another bar. We come here to be bad. And see, we're selling different flavors of juices, alcoholic juices, probably. We're gonna screw that up. We're gonna climb this plant. Get. There's a beacon. There's one of those respawn anchors. I think that is a functional respawn anchor. Yeah, it's got a redstone dispenser thing. There's a flower for the curious. Um, that's a TV. So you can sit here and watch TV. Drink your beer. <laughs> um, we got Strider Stables. Grab you funky. Saddle up. Shouty. It's so gross. Um, I'm not going to do it. But you can ride the striders. I had fungus on the sticks and saddles. I had the whole setup there. Then over here we had public storage, um, which was mostly used while we were building the nether hub and the tunnels, which took forever, even though it was, you know, I was unemployed. Still, it's a huge project. Over here we got garden. Another garden, fungus garden. And then we've got the tunnels. So you had soul speed on one side, not soul speed on the other side. And it's mostly glass. Uh, we wanted glass so you can see the new nether terrain through the tunnels. So we actually built it at um, 34, I think is the official. Yeah, pretty much 30, 32, 34, 33, something like that. Um, I forget I have the mini map right there. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we built it on the floor. And uh, 
I put some ways out just so you don't have to break glass if you want to leave. And the sad thing is, is that most people, it's just easier for them to put their portal and stuff on the roof and just put a carpet path. And so people ended up not actually using the nether hub despite the <laughs> extreme amount of effort we put in it. Um, what is that? It's glowstone. Because this is somebody's base. I guess. Well, we're not gonna... Like I said. Anyway, glass tunnels were cool, though. I mean... It certainly was a pain to like build through a crimson forest, I'll tell you that. Let's go back to the... Because probably the, the centerpiece of the build, of course, is the nether hub, and we're going to have to show that off. And I think I'm going to do that by going out. That, yeah, here we go. These were supposed to be so you can ride the striders outside. Um, this, th there's a huge glass cube um, that I built around it to keep gas from shooting the nether hub. <laughs> it goes all the way to the ceiling. Anyway, let's show off the nether hub. Let's go. We kind of, I don't know who put a portal there. <laughs> um, but you turn around and you got. This huge, crazy pagoda thing. Dun, dun, dun. It's one of the coolest things I've ever built, I believe. Always loved it. I feel like I got the roof exactly the way I wanted it. And it's not easy to do, I don't think. Um, there's a way... That elevator in the middle of the portals was a way to go to the roof. And you can see I've dug it out all the way up to bedrock. And, uh... All the way down to lava level. Coolest nether hub. Like, ever. Um, I don't know. I guess I've seen better nether hubs on Hermitcraft. But <laughs> I would... I would... I would... Um, submit this as a rival piece. If I could. Um, so that's the nether hub. Let's go to the top. See if we got mine. We have one last man card. There's not really much of an interior, unfortunately. I just don't know what to put <laughs> in here, so I never did. All right, let's send that back down. a couple down there okay um and then we're gonna climb up here hole below and this is the faux nether hub and uh otter came i remember otter built us some uh mailboxes Vervain has two. I've got me some bones, a jukebox, an arrow, and some pillage punch. Let's excuse you. I didn't mean to break that. I will. It doesn't matter. Let's uh, drink that pillage punch. Doesn't do much. Because <laughs> I've already got beacon stuff, I guess. Um, where are we going to go? I'm going to show off the orc... The Orcish Arena, which is PvP Arena and Challenge District, yeah. So this is the Orcish Arena. Um, I collaborated this with a guy named No One at All, and uh, turned out really, really cool and spiky. And I think it looks Orcish, um, which is kind of a weird. 
Niche build. Here's a dragon rug. I stole off Reddit. Here's some trophies. Here's a get ready room. Get yourself ready. You set your spawn. And you go up here and fight. This is supposed to be a rib cage. And there's blood stains. Everybody knows that trick. Some skulls. This is the VIP King Orc station. I don't know <laughs> where where the rich orcs are. Um, yeah, one of my favorite builds. Um, there's a lot of my favorite builds on this uh, <laughs> season. <laughs> This is the southern road. It goes all the way to my, my base and uh, the horsey ranch that I built. It's like four to 5,000 blocks long. Um, it basically looks like this most of the way. Um, as you can see, I haven't changed much about the way I build roads. <laughs> it's still. Um, I'm not going to walk the entire road because it's like a 14 minute walk or something and I just don't want the video to be that long. Um, there's some cool stuff to see, but it's not like super innovative or anything. There's like a sunflower field. There's some really nice bridges. Um, but yeah, I'm going to skip that part. The The thing that to know is that this goes on all the way. Well, we're going to go there. We'll go there through the nether and I'll show you where it ends. So at the end of the southern road, you would come out about here-ish. And, oh, I didn't mean to fly that way, but, um, get you a free shirt. Got you hit the road. I watch Spike TV. It's a road thing. King of the road. King of fried. Some Pete and Pete references in here. Southern swag. Yeah. Um, thanks for taking the Southern road. Anyway, this is the horsey ranch. Um, this is the big horsey stable. And uh, this is where I would breed horses. Um, useless. Unless you want to walk the southern road. <laughs> Which I did. I did that a lot. There's Took. His stats are meh. Lasers at spawn. Stumby. I found out is not a 14 speed horse. I don't know what happened there. Or if maybe it's... Uh, like they changed how horses work. Maybe that speed changes. I don't know. There's some horses. Um, back here. <laughs> here lies poor PJ. He was probably a good horse. Um, Ox gave me a horse. And he died in the nether portal. <laughs> he lived to be one day. <laughs> it's so sad. So I built him a grave back here. Um... There's a bunch of horses all over the place because we were trying to get all the horse heads because we got the uh, mob head data pack. Here you can test the horse jump height, and here you can test the speed. Um, the idea is that when you step on his pressure plate, it activates a redstone for exactly one second. So when you go, when you, you ride your horse as far as you can in one second, and then you get stopped, and that's how fast your horses. Um, Stumby is not a 14 speed horse. I don't remember what took is. Swings also it's fun. Well, I'll show you what I mean. Stumby is supposed to be 14, but when you take him over here, uh, 11. <laughs> it's not, not great. Um, I think his jump was 4 though. Yeah. Can we go four and a half? No. He's got four jump. Um, yeah. Oh, sometimes you run over top of the fences, which is not what we want. You gotta kinda get in the middle of the thing there. At that time I got twelve. So I don't know. There's some inconsistency here apparently. Still, better than a 10 speed horse. This is my big house that I lived in while I was working on the horse ranch. Not really, I just built it because it looks nice. Some toilet paper, and a nice little toilet. 
nice little toilet. It's actually not a great toilet at all. Uh huh. Get in there. Just got some rooms and storage and shit. So that's the horsey ranch. Let's move on. Okay, so this is my OG base for the server that I for some reason decided to go 4,000 blocks away from spawn because that's, I don't know, I guess I'm shy. <laughs> I've kind of made a little cave here for my portal. And you come out here and uh, I've got this shrine of stuff. <laughs> I was collecting uh, things from other players. So I've got Kid Insanity's Enchanting Sign. I got Squishy's Map Art and Bunny. I got a Certificate of Curiosity that I got because I found it. <laughs> I got a Cursed Apple. Somebody gave me a flower. I can't remember who. Um, a special someone gave me a bow. Uh, that's a golden, that's just an enchanted apple. That's a library card, yeah, because there was a library. And people, a couple people left signs. And of course we got... What is that? Strad? Parrots. Yeah, um, there's a lemon charge creeper head. Um, yeah, I put a tree in the middle here, and I was going to hang all the mob heads I found in it, but there's way too many mob heads <laughs> for it. And also, people came by and said it was morbid. I don't know why you would think that. Um, this is my windmill. I think every homesteady base has to have a windmill. Or at least a lighthouse. I don't know. You gotta have a tall thing. My little mechanism for grinding the, the, the wheat. And I think up here, yeah, up here I got an old mini farm. Smack, 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 smack. Um, what else we got? This was my first, well, this is my first house on this base anyway. And uh, it's pretty compact. That's all it really needs to be. I think there's an upstairs. Yeah. And we'll sleep again since it's dark and I like to sleep. And there's a cat in my face right now. Please move. Okay. This is my storage shed. And uh, no, no fancy storage systems here. I just manually sorted everything. Of course, there were like, I don't know, half the number of items there used to be back in 116. So I made my little storage room look nice and aesthetic instead of just a wall of chest. And uh, I've always loved it. And I still love it. And it's got a back door. And there's stuff over there. I don't remember what. Tree farms, yeah. Cactuses that I don't know why I did this, but but I did it. I stacked the cactuses up. And this is my Yo Mango's A Furnace Super Smelter Array. Um, and I made the ability to lock them so you could get the XP out of it. Do you want some attention? Because you certainly seem like it. Cats. They know when you're busy. This is... A bamboo farm? Yeah, it was a bamboo farm. So I could put fuel. Looks so nice down here. And... I get This is a birthday present. 
it says PJ and rotten flesh. <laughs> Killer tomato. <laughs> I don't know. And there's some cake. Eat some. Um, this is my mine shaft. I made a little elevator and I used the black concrete to look like it descends into the void. Um, but also, when you get in here, you can go down the. Which it, it is an elevator. This, that's a slime chunk. Anybody remembers back before they changed the Y levels of diamonds and added deep slate and whatnot? Um, this used to be under everybody's base. Just this, uh, what is it? I probably, yeah, three blocks. Two to three block huge, like, wedge just because this is where the diamonds were. Now, Y11, and that was where the, the lava level was, so you could pour water and stop the stop the lava from getting on your nerves. This is my mob farm. It's, it's got glow squids in it. <laughs> um, the idea here was that the lower you build the farm, the, uh, the more rates you get. So it's just one layer. And um, I would use water dispensers on the side to push them into the wither roses. And then there would be hoppers under the soul sand because hoppers would pick up under soul sand. Um, and then I've dug out. Oh, I turned it into a creeper farm. That's why there's trap doors here. Um, but yeah. See, you, they just go and do whatever they want, whenever they want, and nobody's going to stop them. It's okay. He can take it. Um, this AFK in storage. Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird... I like it because it's like my mob farm that I made up. Look at this hopper clock up here. That's how it's, that's how it's working, the uh, dispensers. Um, because I used to do redstone. Let's get out of here. Um, so that's pretty much the starter base. There's sheep over here. This is a house that I never... Well, it kind of looks done. Why did I put torches there? I hate torches. Okay, I didn't finish the interior. And there's no way to get up here. <laughs> but yeah, just, I don't know. I felt like I wanted another house. So if you've noticed this over here in the background, that is my um, quote-unquote dwarven castle. It looks particularly awesome in the background, I think. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna show that off next. Um, so many, so many of the builds here are my favorite. Okay, so I do have a road that goes to the, the castle, of which apparently I've called Castley Rock. <laughs> which is named after, uh, the Game of Thrones place. Which is called, like, Caster... Caster D Rock or something. I don't know. Castle E Rock. That's where we're going. So that entrance right there is where I would fly in with the lighter, which is the main entrance I would ever use. There's my nether portal. I never use that. I always use that one over there. Um, and I carved out some lava trails to, I don't know, make it look like volcanic or something. Got myself an etho door. With a little wall. 
got myself a rug. This room looks really sick. Like, I've always loved this. It's one of the first, like, rooms I did. I think it is the first room I did for the castle, because I didn't even finish this one. Really. I mean, I put some... <laughs> some buttons. I don't know. Um, let's go this way first. So this is where the farm stuff are. And my trading hall and my smelter. So I got a sugarcane farm. Um, everybody's seen this kind of design before. But, uh, you know, minecart runs, collects it here. I like to show redstone off, so I always put it behind glass. Or at least I sometimes put it behind glass. It's a pretty cool little archway here. Um, this is a concrete grinder. So it would dispense the concrete blocks at you so you could kind of AFK grind them. And look, you know who did this? A fucking Enderman. I got these cool little wall designs here that I never really pay attention to. This is a wee cactus farm. I got a much bigger one um, that I'll show off in a minute. This is like an outside walkaboot. It's a spider. Um, this is my turtle farm. You just go back and forth and breed the turtles and breed the turtles and breed the turtles and. It would just automatically do everything you wanted it to do. I think, why is there a button down there? I guess that's a skull. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Cool, though. I got skews. You know what? That's better. PCP members, we wear the hat. Because that's what's up. I'm just going to destroy my base. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's, it just doesn't matter. Um, there's some towers there that look pretty sick. We're going to go in there and eventually... Okay, now we went that way. Let's go downstairs. Downstairs, we got some water elevators here. This is my rich people furniture. It's got some curlies. Um. Oh yeah, I had a. Oh, this is. Welcome to Applebee's. This is my Applebee's. <laughs> I can sit here. And... Can I angle this? In a way? Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. <clears throat> I don't know. I think it's funny for some reason. Um, so there's a villager breeder way down yonder. And what I would do is check their trades here. If I didn't like them... Um, I used to have a lava dispenser or something. I don't know. Um, got a bunch. Of, what do we got here sharp, sharpness, sharpness. Look at all them emeralds. Yeah, and that's without a raid farm. God damn it. I uh, had a goal of getting a double chest of emerald blocks. Um, and this is before raids even existed, but. Uh, this is how far I got. I got bored with it and I never finished it. And I also was constantly spending emeralds, so it was hard to keep up with. I probably did get that many emeralds, like, over time. But, um, anyway, we go in here, and this is the, the clone room. <laughs> Every trading hall looks like the most slave... <laughs> 
human rights violation chamber of fucking doom. Um, anyway, I don't think I had all the books. I don't really remember. But I had a lot of farmers, because back in the day you needed a lot of farmers. And this is... <laughs> he's wearing my head. This is my zombie. I was manually carrying and um, zombifying them without... Uh-oh. Okay, that happened. And there's another Enderman shit. Um, well, hopefully the damn game doesn't freeze on me. Okay. Carrots for farmers. I think there was, at one point in time, I thought farmers were the best way to get emeralds. And then it was like... It changed, and I don't remember when or what... Well, here's my pumpkin slash melon farm. But you've all seen this. Um, I don't remember whose design it is, but somebody came up with it. And it's really cool. And that's the collection. And this is where it goes. And I'd stand here and craft them. This is a brewing room. A manual brewing room, because that's how I roll. I've never built an auto burger in my life. <laughs> Get all these in there, man. Um, so, right above this roof is like ground level. And it's exposed to the sky. So, Endermen would often teleport in here. And I would trap them in boats. And sometimes I would name them. This is Andy Kofkoff. This is Tony Clifton. This is Chi Chi. You don't have a name. You don't have a name. You don't have a name. Oh, oh it's McDo. McDo. Um, anyway, this is <laughs> it's bamboo farm. Exact same design as the sugarcane farm. God, it looks so clean. I've always loved the way this looks. And I love how it's like really dark in here. And if you wanted to use the smelter. Or lock the smelters for XP. You turn these lights on and then it would also light up the middle of the room. And this is another Yomango 8 furnace array. And this is the collection that I had visible. I don't know how, I don't remember for the life of me how this even works, but you can see it unloads the minecarts and then it lets them go. When they're empty, it's cool stuff. Um, the roof, by the way, was done by a player named Coco, who hasn't been playing uh, on the server since Season 1, but I remember that I just didn't feel like doing the roof to this build, so I hired him to do it, and that's what he came up with, and it looks totally fine. Did a great job. This is all the bamboo. And once all that gets filled up, which takes no time at all, it goes into cactus. Just like that. And so right now the farm is completely useless. It doesn't have an off switch, it just has overflow. Alright, let's go back upstairs. I know this is going to be like an hour long video, but I don't know how to shorten it. There's just too much stuff to show. And like, this is only going to be half. There's going to be a whole nother hour worth of stuff for me to show off, but I'll do it in another episode. Um, these are the water elevators. I'm not going to take them. This is a hidden cow farm because I would just manually grind cows for my food. I'm like, fuck it. This is a project board. This is lumpy carpet. These are stairs. And this is the outside world. God, it looks so cool. I also love these uh, fluorescent lighting that you get out of the uh, in runs. Back in the day, I used paintings a lot more back in the day than I do now. Um, that goes outside. This. There's the elevator. 
Um, there's my grandfather clock. Stole it off Reddit. Um, Ooh. Oh, sh oh shulkers, slow falling potions. Um, some instant. This is my bedroom, if you couldn't tell. Set my spawn. Had me a nice little stone, because I was thinking about doors, and I was like, stone, stone bed. Cyan drapes. And then they just, gets. There's no fire in here. It's got to be cold as Christ. Um, anyway, check out this redstone. Stairs. Now the stairs are gone. And now mobs can't get up here. See how we did. Did some custom terrain work here, just in this little area. Um... I don't know what happened, but an update broke this. So I can only have two layers of... It's supposed to be three layers of sand gravel -y blocks. But every time I put them back, I'll show you what happens. They get broken on the uh, slabs. Yeah, that's goofy. Um, which, by the way, there doesn't need to be slabs there. I don't know why I put them there. It just, could just be solid blocks, and it probably wouldn't have that problem. But anyway, I don't care. This is my library. I think I intended to keep eh, all my enchants here or something. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to keep written book stuff here. But I've only got one, and it's a horoscope. Do you want to read it? I have no idea what this says. But if you want to pause the screen and read that, be my guest. I used to write faux horoscopes because I thought it was funny to write faux horoscopes because I think all horoscopes are faux. But that's a political opinion. It's not really, but... It's a social, political opinion, I guess. I don't know. I don't mean any offense to people that are into Zodiac stuff. I just am you know, not, not into that myself, and I think it's funny. Not today. That's the uh, the wooden sword from Game of Thrones. I was, like, super into Game of Thrones, apparently. Um, another dragon road. Stole from Reddit. This is the collection of the cactus farm. There's a drowned in there. It's full. And so it's just like the bamboo farm. It's useless. It just dispenses shit in there. Um, let's get out of here. And let's go... We'll take the elevator up. To the top floor. And we got some sky bridges here. And we got our nether portal. We can't walk in there. Because I'll go through the nether. So we'll just do that. We'll go over here. This tower goes down into here, and it goes into the the big dome area, which is right above the library. And I was gonna make an alchemy lab here, and uh, make like a more fancier place to do brewing or whatever, but um, never happened. I had plans for it, but it never happened. And then over here, let's get this. I think cyan concrete powder is one of the prettiest looking blocks. They just sparkle, don't they? Um, anyway. This is just, it's, this looks really cool from far away, but, like, you got this, like, sky bridge. As if it used to go somewhere, but now it's ruins or whatever, you know. Um, but if you stand here, now, unfortunately, I can't show it to you because in one point whatever 2021 um the terrain changed and snow does not work the way that it did back in the day but back in the day during um the season you could stand here and you could look at this base while the snow was falling and i swear it was the coolest thing i've ever seen i just loved it so much um but uh i can't show it to you 
can't do it. Can only talk about it. Um, this, by the way, is unfinished, as all bases are. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's the stairway. It's cool stuff. Um, this is a campfire. <laughs> I don't know what this is about. It's there though. Um, yeah, I also point out that I got pranked. Uh, Saturn Grimlore made giant chicken. And I thought there might be something inside, but there's there's a hole inside. A creeper could be in there. But yeah. This is the mob farm. The top of the mob farm that I showed earlier. And I got all this wheat. I don't know why. But there's a point where I was just really like... I thought it was cool to have fields of wheat, but then again, also, maybe I just wanted to work on my manual cow farm. But yeah, um, that's it. Let's get the cat, yeah, <laughs> let's get the cats on the background. Maybe I'll use this for thumbnail or something. Um, there's other people's bases I want to show off. There's other public bases I want to show off, and... There's the Mobhead Museum I want to show off. Um, and hopefully I can do that all in one more episode. And if not, then there will be a third one. And um, I'm mostly making this for the people on my server. If you're new to the channel, then um, sorry if this is boring for you. Um, <laughs> it's not boring for me. And I don't think it's boring for my friends on the server. I think uh, I'm hoping they'll get a good kick out of it. I think they will. Um, so anyway, goodbye, and I don't know when I'm going to do the next episode, but it'll probably be soon. You guys have a wonderful time of your lives, and I'll see you next time.